So it's really important to have automated error messaging and alerts whenever you're building your production applications because there are users using your applications and bugs may be happening that you want to be aware of. And if you're not automatically tracking that, chances are your users aren't actually going to report those bugs. So this is how I do it within Bubble for no additional cost, meaning no additional services that I'm using for this. So within my application, you can choose to either put this uh, workflow either on a header because it's on avail all of the pages or on your index page if you're using a single page application. Now the workflow is called an unhandled error occurs. This essentially means that whenever an error happens in your application, this workflow is going to trigger. Now once that workflow triggers, I am scheduling an API workflow to run in the back end to log that event. So it's an API workflow called track errors and I'm sending the code for the error workflow, the message, the user that it impacted, and the current URL. Then if I go into my backend workflow, I can see that I'm creating a new error to log this internally. And then I'm sending an email to myself with all that information saying, hey, there was an error in your application. Here's the user, here's the URL address, here's the error code. Go out and check out what's going on. And now this is an automated thing that I can get whenever. And it's just another way that I can keep up to date with everything that's going on in my application, if any users are running into problems, which users those are, I can then proactively reach out to them and say, hey, I saw you had a problem here. I'm fixing it. Don't worry. And it just takes that whole customer service level to the next step, but also just running a good, clean application. By catching these early, you can fix them early, and then hopefully they won't bother your users again. So whether you're using a free um, air tracking system such as this one, or if you're using something else um, such as an NC scale, or other platforms, I suggest you use it because it's really important to know what's going on within your application. So if you enjoyed this tip, please follow me for more.